Hi guys, Daz is back again. This is Daz's comic book hauls, episode 91. Yeah, back to the bread and butter this time, guys. And it's been about a month since my last haul, believe it or not. I've amassed close to 30 books this time around. Lot of good keys. I've got a lot of current books, a lot of some hot comic book alerts. I've got some nice silver. And I've got a really, really huge book to finish with. It is very low grade, but it is a book I just could not say no to. Stay with me to the end, guys. I think it's gonna be worth the wait. I'll get through them as quickly as I can. Now, I'm not averse to picking up coverless books if they're cheap enough. I then tend to upgrade later on in the day. For instance, I picked up a Showcase 37 coverless a little while ago, which was the first Metal Men. I've since upgraded that and let that one go. Well, there was three books in a little lot and they worked out at £2.60 each. I was after just one of them. I'm hoping I can still get a little bit of coin back for the other two. The first is a book from 1964 that I've owned before coverless. This is a 80 page giant number five and it is a Batman and Robin story with Catwoman. As always with my hauls, I start small and we end with a better stuff. And then the next one up was Batman Annual number four, old school from 1962. I'm sure I'll have a ticker for that on eBay. But the reason I picked this up, this next uh, issue is a, it's, it's a character in my encyclopedia and I love to tick him off. And is a character I've read in comics previous. I think he was in uh, one of the players in the Forever Evil storyline. Um, the book I picked up for £2.60 was Detective Comics issue 311, the first appearance and origin of Catman, who is Thomas Reese Blake. So yeah, worth the read, it's complete over, of course, and the cover, I will upgrade that eventually. And so, Next, we've got a hot comic book alert, and it's a second copy for me. I made a, an alert on the upcoming Black Adam movie, and one of the characters that have been confirmed is a female. It is the second Isis, and her name is Adriana uh, Tomas. And her first appearance comes in 52, week three. And I, only, I think I paid less than two quid for that, but it could be a nice flip down the line. She will become the second Isis and Black Adam's wife by all accounts in that movie. I love my live action first appearances and here's one that a lot of you will probably be unfamiliar with and it is from the Flash TV show. We've had the Weather Wizard and now most recently we've had the Weather Witch and she first appears in Gotham Underground issue number three. Yeah. The first appearance of the Weather Witch, and uh, she was in the Flash show, of course, then in the Crisis uh, Legends episode, uh, the crossover. Also the first appearance of Johnny Stitches in that. But the Weather Witch, I believe, is the daughter of the Weather Wizard. Sticking with DC uh, live action shows, and one of my favourites is the Titans. Of course, we've had two good seasons under our belt, and the third season, I made a hot comic book earlier about a character that is going to be coming into the season. And that, by all accounts, is a character called Danny Chase. And he is a, a character that then goes on to become another character. And Danny Chase becomes the Phantasm. In this issue, guys, the new Titans issue 73, the Phantasm. Here he is. And uh, it's also the first cameo appearance of Panther, who is Rosabelle Mendez. So look out for that. It's a cheap book. I paid less than three quid for that. Oh, and £3.50 for The Weather Witch. And uh, like I say, if I see it on the telly, I want that first appearance if it's cheap. Three quid and under, I'm all over it. Here's another one. This is a character that I saw in the Marvel Rising animated uh, show. And I think there was a movie too. And it is Iron Man, it is issue 20. And this is the first appearance of the Exile, who is Victor Cole, an inhuman, hand-selected by the Nightbringer, one of the Mandarin's rings, to be its host. And uh, he was the main villain in Marvel Rising. 
surprisingly a good show and then of course but i've got disney plus of late and I'm going to go back and I'm going to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. eventually. Now, it was a tough watch. It wasn't enough action for me. It was slow paced. It was character driven. Obviously, they didn't have the budget of the movies, but I've got to give it a go, haven't I? And so I've started tracking down cheap Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. first appearances. And here's one uh, in Invincible Iron Man, issue 8. And this is the first appearance of Victoria Hand, an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., who also worked for Norman Osborn's Hammer. Again, like I said, she was in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. A couple of other minor firsts in that one. And then one of the main characters of the, of the later seasons was Inhuman. And uh, that came in Inhuman Annual Number 1, the first appearance of Raina. Now, she, uh, she had, like, spikes coming out of her. So that was uh, one of the Inhumans from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Again, all less than three quid for these books. And then this one is surprisingly undervalued. This is S.H.I.E.L.D. issue number one. I paid £2.94 for that, and that is the first appearance in comics of Agent Melinda May, of course, from uh, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Slingshot TV shows, Leo Fitz and Agent Gemma Simmons. All three of those in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then sticking with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now I picked this book up because there's a character who's a bit of a mainstay from about season four or five of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And uh, little did I know that there was a major, major MCU villain in this book, first appearance. So it was bang for my buck. I paid £3.20 and this book is so undervalued. This is a uh, like prestige format, actually. This is Nick Fury versus S.H.I.E.L.D., almost like a graphic novel, and it is book three of six. And how many of know of you uh, you know of this? This is uh, the first appearance of Alexander Goodwin Pierce. Now, you're going to say, who is that? Well, that is the character played by Robert Redford in The Winter Soldier and in Endgame most recently. Now, Alexander Goodwin Pierce actually first appeared in the Nick Fury Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV movie starring the legend that is David Hasselhoff. Oh, my days. Now, like I said, the reason I picked this up, this is the first, also the first appearance of Alfonso Al McKenzie. Now, he is one of the black agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the show. So, uh, yeah, one of the main players. Good actor. Sticking with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and... Recently, we've had a, a lot of talk about uh, there's a Secret Warriors show coming by all accounts. And one of the characters from the Secret Warriors is in this book. He just arrived yesterday, actually. I paid £5.37 for this, but it's, it's fine condition. This is Secret War, book two of five. Of course, this is the first appearance of Quake. Daisy Johnson, also known as Sky in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. But like I said... Um, there's a bit of buzz about Quake at the moment. They're thinking that she's going to be used again in the MCU. So, uh, an undervalued book for me. The artwork in it is absolutely fantastic. And then, I've been watching some of the animated shows too, guys. And one I've really got into is Hulk Agents of Smash. If you guys haven't given that a try, you've got to. The Red Hulk, uh, General Thaddeus Ross is a fantastic character and uh, he is played by the villain who is uh, the villain in the first Highlander film and I can't think of his name but um, great actor he was in Shawshank Redemption as well one of my favorite animated characters is the Red Hulk in that show but in that show they introduce this this is uh, what we got here Nick Fury's Howling Commandos and this is the first appearance of Nick Fury's Howling Commandos that appear in that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, we've got the first appearance of War Wolf, who is Vic Marcus, and Frank, the clone of Frankenstein. And the team also consists of Vampire by Night, Living Mummy, Clay Quatermain, uh, Zombie. So uh, a good team. And there is a, I think there's a Halloween movie involving that team as well, with the Hulk from Agents of Smash. 
And sticking with um, that Halloween Agents of Smash spin-off, I picked up this one. This is Shield issue 9, and this is the first appearance of the second War Wolf, Martin Reina. He is the character that appears in that Halloween, I think it's called Monster Mash or something like that, on Disney+. Plus. So, yeah, worth picking up again, I think, £2.50, why not? Uh, there's a digital sticker on the 48th page. And then, like I say, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I love it. And I want the first appearance of A-Bomb. That's going to be on my radar. But I did manage to pick up this one, and I think the seller wanted 12. I think I offered 8, and he accepted. So I've got What If featuring Planet Hulk number 1. And this, guys, for those of you that don't know, is the first appearance of Scar, Scar Banner, son of the Hulk and Kiera as a baby. So this is Scar's first appearance and he's another fun, fun character in Hulk Agents of Smash. Now I've been reading as well that the She-Hulk live action show is apparently going to be introducing more than uh, just the She-Hulk and uh, the normal Hulk. A-bomb's being talked up, Scar is being talked up, so don't sleep on those Hulk uh, first appearances. And then we're on to the second pile of books. And again, uh, Marvel, we talked, I made a hot comic book earlier on this. Might have overpaid for this, £6.25. But uh, the director, is it uh, Watiti, of the next Thor film, uh, Love and Thunder, he was on a, a, whether it was a podcast or something like that, and he said that this is going to happen in that film. So I jumped on board. The book, Uncanny X-Men issue 162. This is the first appearance of the Star Sharks, AKA Space Sharks. Okay? So uh, don't sleep on this book if you can find it cheap because it's meant to be the crazy, I mean, I thought Ragnarok was crazy, but the next Thor film is going to be mental by all accounts, according to him. There's also a solo Wolverine story in this book. And then I made a hot comic book alert recently about the one that got away. And uh, yeah, the first book I've ever sold on eBay that I regret selling was The Badge. I had it on for ages and then it got snapped up for about three quid. Why? Because Boom have set up a deal with Netflix. And one of the books that was optioned prior to that news, I managed to get for an absolute steal, two pound. And this is usually between 10 and 20. How oh, I got this on eBay, I don't know. And that book is The Spire. This is basically, as the new Baroness of the Spire is about to be sworn in, a string of grisly murders occurs, prompting the commander of the City Watch to quickly bring the killer to justice. Now, this book was nominated for an Eisner Award for Best Limited Series in 2016, and there are just 9,524 copies. And in February, this was optioned by Blue Ice Pictures. If you see The Spire, jump on board. Now, with Disney Plus, I've got my fire stick and I've got a month free of Amazon. And I, I'd seen a couple of the episodes of The Boys prior and now I've binge watched it with my daughter. It is fantastic, The Boys. Possibly my favorite ever superhero show. And I'm a big superhero fan, as you know. And for me, there's some vile characters that you just can't help, like, almost root for. Because they're that evil, but they're funny with it. Um, so I've started picking up boys keys. I'd already done that. I mean, I've got boys number one, but I've picked up a couple of recent ones. And uh, this is a uh, boys issue number six. Now, why did I pick this up? This is gonna have a character that's gonna be in season two of the boys. And that character is Victor the Veep Newman. Now, Victor the Veep Newman in the books is a male. In the series, it's, uh, the TV show, it's gonna be a female. So look out for that. I paid £4.95 for that, a nice copy. And showing off books like this is what makes my channel an adult channel only. And it's one of the finest, funniest covers out there, guys. From the pages of the boys, we have Herogasm. Look at that cover. Oh, my days. <laughs> and why did I pick this up for £5.50? Well, this is the first appearance of Soldier Boy. Another character who was going to be in season two of The Boys. Now, I think he has an affair with Homelander. 
So a, a gay romance in the, uh, the second season. It's also the first appearance of the second Crimson Countess. And I think she will also be in the show. Bang for your buck. Two firsts in that book. And then... Oh, I'm loving the Star Wars again. And uh, like I say, I've got my Kenner Palatoy vintage figures to show at some point on my channel. I'm a big collector. Uh, I picked up a great figure the other day, actually. But um, yeah, the Mandalorian is really restocked and giving me faith again in Star Wars after The Last Jedi that I can't recover from. But this book has been talked up massively. It could be the next Clone Wars number one, first Ahsoka. This character is going to be coming to the Star Wars live action. It's just a matter of when and where. Talk is it could be the uh, Pallion uh, with K2SO series. That character comes in Star Wars Higher to the Empire, issue number one. And this is the first appearance of Grand Admiral Thrawn, who goes by the name of Mithra and Nerodo. Now I've read this issue. In fact, I picked up all six issues for 19.99, which is a bit of a steal. But of course, the least grade, uh, highest grade is this book. It's only a mid grade. We've got a bad corner crunch on the back and it is color breaking. But uh, it's also the first appearance of Mara Jade, the wife of Luke Skywalker. So uh, again, who knows down the line what happens with that character as well. But Grand Admiral Thrawn, a great, great villain. So that's issue one. And that is the money book. But to go with that, there are some fantastic covers. We've got issue two. Love me some Han and Chewie and Leia. Uh, we've got issue three. We've got issue four. And I've read up to issue four. I've got the last two to read. And that is issue five. And the final issue, issue six. And this all takes place after Return of the Jedi. I actually have the novel as well from Timothy Zahn. So I knew roughly the story. And then I've got three books to finish with and they're Silver Age. Now, a little while ago, I bought a book on eBay. I don't know if you guys ever had this happen to you. Uh, I bought a book on eBay and the guy seemed legit. Uh, 20 pound. The book was, and I bought the book. I was excited to get it because it's my favorite series. And I waited and waited. And then I got a message from the guy saying, uh, sorry, um, no, sorry, no, I tell a lie. It was canceled within about three or four days. And I said, I said, why has it been canceled, mate? He said, I'm so sorry. I can't find the book. Oh, well, you know, I'm a big seller myself. I know the pitfalls and problems. So a couple of days after that, I kid you not, that £20 book resurfaced on eBay for £30. Yes, the guy was getting greedy and he literally told me a pork pie. I left bad feedback because, and I never want to leave bad feedback, but you can't do that, can you? Just after an extra couple of quid, I probably would have given him 30 if he'd said, but anyway, the bad feedback has been removed. But uh, what? that's devious. Anyway, I'm glad, bottom line is, I'm glad that was cancelled because the book I paid 12, 20 pound for, I found in similar grade for six pound 15. The book is Showcase issue 53. Yeah, and believe it or not, guys, this is the first G.I. Joe in DC Comics. Great stuff. I like me some G.I. Joe and I like me some Showcase, so a good combination. I haven't read this one yet, but you can't go wrong for probably a 6.0 for that kind of money, six quid, happy days. I've seen this book go for 50 plus. And then a book that's been on my radar forever. It was the right time to pick it up. The guy had it on for 29, I think. I offered 22 and he accepted, fair play. Um, it's hype. Well, when I say high grade, I'd say, I mean, I'm a very harsh grader, but um, it's in the six to seven range, in my opinion. Um, so with shipping, it comes to 24 quid. 
It was a character that I enjoyed in the MCU. He was a, a one and done villain, but he was a good villain. The book, Avengers issue 59, and it's a sweet looking co cover, uh, copy, guys. The first appearance of Yellow Jacket. Now, Yellow Jacket, the villain in the MCU, was play, uh, was Daniel Cross, I believe. But a Yellow Jacket in this issue is by Hen Henry Hank Jonathan Pym, of course, formerly Goliath. And uh, like I say, I think there was a, a small part in the Ant-Man movie where Hank Pym played Yellow Jacket, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it's also the third appearance of Vision. Like I say, let's have a closer look at it. Corners are sharp. Spine is nice. And the colors are vibrant. The only real blemish just here, I think by, where are we? The N, the bottom of the N, there's a little bit of whiteness there. A little scratch or something. But besides that, happy days with that. And my final book, and I oomed and I add about this, I was asking opinions from a couple of my friends in the know. And uh, one, my good friend uh, who lives not far from me said it was too low a grade for him. But this is a, because he only deals in the, in the finest slabs. And trust me, this guy's got 700 plus slabs. It is an immense collection he has. But I couldn't pass on it. Have I overpaid for it? I don't know. I'd like to ask you guys, would you pay? We've got a movie coming out soon. It's got tape on it. It's the centipede spread is detached. Now, don't get me wrong, that I didn't see that in the listing, but it was so low grade anyway. I just wanted this piece of history, guys. It was from Germany, so you couldn't even read the description, but I've bought from them before. I picked up the first polka dot man for about 20 odd quid, you know, Detective 300. This is beat up. It could, it's obviously a restoration to it, but it's complete. The story was all there. For £73.73, I picked up a monster low grader, Brave and the Bold, issue 25. The first appearance of the Suicide Squad. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at what we got here, guys. It is beat. We've got a corner missing here. We've got a bit missing there. We've got tape all down the spine. But the guy who did repair this, he's got, he is a master with tape, I tell you. Let's have a close look at it. The cover, the colours are there. The inside reads nicely. Would you guys have paid 70 up? Probably not. But this is an insanely expensive book. 2.0s are going for 300 plus. And I'm not about to drop that sort of money on this book. It's a book I never thought I would own. And when the Suicide Squad movie comes out, I still think I could flip it for probably 20, 30 quid more than I paid. So that's it, guys. That's my haul. I got the Suicide Squad, the first appearance of the Suicide Squad. The first appearance of Rick Flagg from the Suicide Squad movies. And also in, also in that team was Jess Bright, Karen Grace and Hugh Evans. It's a fun read. It's an insane read. Simplistic. But I enjoyed it. And I can't wait for that new gun Suicide Squad movie. My sponsors today, we've got Hawkman and Aquaman. That's a wrap. I am at a world record 816 subscribers. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Because you know me, I'm very busy in the community. Bye for now. Stay safe, everyone.